Hey guys, this is Captain Jack Sparrow, and welcome back to the DNS Tech Pack. We're doing this Let's Play starting off in the Nether, and you probably wonder why. Well, it's really simple. I need a blaze spawner. Now, we're at episode 21, we're in the Nether, and I have found a blaze spawner. So, you need yourself a diamond dolly. And if you remember, this is all, the whole point to this is to, to get started on our mob farm. So you need a diamond dolly to pick up the, uh, the, the spawner. And you automatically get hit with slowness too. So the way to combat this, the way to circumvent the slowness too, put it in an ender chest. That means it's not technically on you. And, hey look, no slowness too. Now the mining fatigue comes from the the manual and cleaver that I have here. So that's cool. Now, the one thing that I did realize is there is nether ores in here. And when you mine a nether ore, you end up really, really pissing off the, uh, well, the indigenous people, these guys here. And the way to circumvent that is very easy to comprehend. Now to actually achieve it, all you need to do is put silk touch on your, on your, your pick and you can mine them all day long so we're gonna go ahead and head back to our base here I've been working on the the auto spawner for a little bit and we need some way of creating mob essence and we need it in a automated kind of fashion that is not going to what is that osmium oh that's right this mod pack has mechanism in it we need to play with mechanism but uh, we need some way to to get um, mob essence that doesn't cost us mob essence because the auto spawner when spawning a mob uses just a little bit more mob essence than the grinder produces when it grinds it up so I've gone ahead what is it a fire bat made it through, really? Okay, I've gone ahead and uh, got us a blaze, and we have the blaze spawner, so that's plenty. I needed the blaze to uh, to get that process started anyway. Um, I usually always have something, or one, one of everything, um, and that's just in case I don't have that spawner, so I got the blaze first. Now, this is what mob essence looks like. And if you remember in the last episode, we went ahead and we put this tank here, and, and I said I'd plumb it up after. Now, the way that this works is that if you right-click this flange right here, not right here, because, well, I guess you can do it right there. That's weird. Um, it opens up a menu, and you can tell it what you want it to, to do. Now, this one menu is for this one flange and this type of pipe. If we were to go to let's say this one this is one of the reasons why I love Ender IO there's three pipes right here there's a liquid duct or a liquid pipe they call it a pressurized fluid conduit there's a item conduit and there's power all in this one block which makes it really easy to deal with and actually I can put an RF cable on it also so if you right click on this one there's new tabs here. Obviously, the item duct, the liquid duct, or the fluid conduit, and the power. So the way that I've got this set up, this is the grinder, and I've got the item duct pumping out items, and it bypasses this, really, because it doesn't need to do it, because I've disabled it. And it goes down, and goes all the way over to that ender chest right there. And I've already tested this, so I know it's working. Uh, the power comes from the that big dude. And the liquiduct goes to the spawner with an insert setting. And to these two flanges here. That one's set to import, and this one's set to export. Now, in here, one of the little confusing things, I don't... Okay, so insert's self-explanatory. Disabled self-explanatory and in out 
that's great if you're using buses. If you're get what this would be called as a as a bus, um, if you want all of the stuff that you set to red to go into one specific tank, maybe you set it up for lava, you would set it up for that. But if you have in the same cable or in the same conduit water, you would set that to blue or some whatever color you want to set it to, and it would only go into the blue selected ones. So I, I don't use the in out very much. I don't combine my cables like that, the liquid cables. Um, so not a big deal. Um, auto extract works the same way. It's just, it's not going to go in and out of the same flange. Uh, a piece of ca a piece of conduit is a small price to pay to be able to have that feature. So now what we need to do is, did I, I put the light, the ladders back. really didn't want to put the ladders back so normally what I do and it, this is a weird setup for me I don't normally do this but then again I don't normally build a base in a in an existing town let alone a castle um, but I don't care to be in blaze all the time in my blaze form so I went ahead and I did a little bit of cleaning up up there and I made a ladder so I could get up there and if I need to in this chest here I'm going to keep all of my safari nets with my animals in it, or mobs, and then to change it out, you just right click, take the cow out, and put the cow in. Now this setting here, spawn exact copy, a um, couple of things you need that for. If you're going to do a, a necrotic bone or a, 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 uh, a wither skeleton spawner, you need to click spawn exact copy, because if you put a... a safari net with a wither skeleton in it and don't click that once you put that in there it's going to spawn regular skeletons so if you click the spawn exact copy to yes it will spawn your wither skeletons and you will get wither heads and necrotic bones and regular bones for life um for for days yeah so now what are we going to do we are going to input the ability to get mob essence at a very cheap price in comparison to having to sit here and safari net mobs in because if without the the spawner you would have to feed your mob feed your your animals safari net them move them in or i guess you could use the oh whoa i didn't even think of that i guess we could use a rancher and a feeder use the rancher in one bay the and or the rancher in between the feeder in that bay and the only thing that gets left in this bay is the original two. Other than that, the rancher will move the babies to here. And once the babies grow up, you could have a, another rancher move them into your mob farm, I guess. That's a lot of work when all you have to do is make a, uh, a, 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 a dolly. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. So, we have a, our dolly. And we're going to go ahead and put you right here now i have to be careful because as soon as they pop now actually it, it really doesn't matter because well i'm a blaze do i have see now he's there he's gonna try to blow me up he can't and the grinder should kill him kill 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 him come on grind him up He's jumping around because I'm here. Come on. Kill him. That's weird. He's already dropped fire. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here before they get too many of them. I need to put something in there. Yeah, this will work. Okay, so there's that. I need to put another thing there. The fire's weird. I may need to get a vacuum hopper. That's something else we can do. So I want to get... There's a lot of blazes in there, so... We have 10 blaze rods. We'll go ahead and take those out. So we... Look at that. 61 fire. Where did... Oh, that's blaze powder. Okay. Well, let's see how the, the grinder does. But at the same time, I want to make a hopper, a vacuum hopper, so... It picks up any excess stuff the grinder doesn't, so... 
sounds like stuff's on fire. That worries me. Oh, I hear him dying. That's good. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> like, whoa, how's it hitting me? Okay, so let's see how many blaze rods we already have. We already have three blaze rods, so that's good. It's working, and it's going to produce uh, mob essence, and our leather should be going up because there's a cow spawner in there right now. So, uh, yeah, I had 88 when I started, so that's going to go through the roof. Now, let's see about that vacuum hopper. So, vacuum, uh, let's check about a vacuum chest. Do I have any pulsating? I don't, so let's... Do these have... These do have an EMC value. Did I put this in here? No. Pulsating. I don't know why I wouldn't have put that in there. Well, let's make another one. Okay. Uh, you. You. Sure. And now, we're gonna copy the heck out of this thing, because, well... EMC is better. Well, it's copying, guys, if you guys like these episodes, if you want to see more of my episodes, hit that like button. If you haven't, if you're new to my channel and you want to see the new content that I put out, which is quite a bit lately, uh, hit that subscribe button. And guys, like I always say, and I, I do mean this, don't, don't just hit it for me. Hit it for every YouTuber that you enjoy watching their videos, that you visit on a daily basis. Hit it for everyone, and it will be greatly appreciated by all of us. So, now that that's done, we can make a vacuum hopper. And those can go in there. Now, and this has an EMC value too, so let's go ahead and make another one of these. Because I'm sure this won't be the last time we see this. But we will go ahead and just put it back to bones. And you can go in there. Okay, so vacuum hopper, and I need uh, item conduits. Well, there's definitely plenty of those. So, we're going to go all the way back up here. And I think right here in this hole, I'm going to put that vacuum hopper. And then I'm just going to tie it into right there. So, you, you, and you. Now this should automatically be set to a default. Extract. Now it's extracting. So we should be able to put stuff in there and it, well, disappear. It kind of works the same as an ender chest in this situation, except that since it was so close, I didn't want to waste the ender chest. Not a big deal. Go ahead and put those back. Look at that. It's kind of slow, though. We're going to have to do an upgrade here, because I can see that we can upgrade it. We'll do that, excuse me, on a different day. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is, you probably noticed, I have a whole bunch of tanks in my inventory. And I gotta double check real quick. I'm fairly certain I have not made a, che or a, a chest, a storage system for... Oh, I keep getting egged. That's weird. I have not made a storage system for my experience. So we're going to need a drain. We already have one. I think I made this last episode, but I never got to using it. We need a shower. We don't have the shower. Okay, so the drain is really easy. You make it with uh, bars in this configuration. And it gets you a drain. We'll go ahead and just take a... We'll take four of them. Because, well, four is better than one. You can actually stand on more than one block and it will pull faster. So uh, now we need a drain, which, if I remember correctly, is you and. You? No. What is the drain? I can't remember what it is. It's been a while since I made a drain. It. No, it's the shower. What? How do you make you? What? I'm going to have to make that. There we go. We got a shower and we need a lever. 
So get rid of you, get rid of you, or put you down, and that's not gravel, you. Okay, now the way that this is going to work is, where do I want to put you? I need to pick a place that's also upstairs. Hmm. Let's see if we're here. What's over here? I kind of want it to go right here. But I don't know if I can. Gravel. Thank you. Milk. Um. Whoops. Nope, it's not going there, because that's the middle of the road. Okay, you, you, and give me that piece of gravel back, you. Hmm. Where do I want to put this thing? I think we're just going to put it in here. It's above us. Oh, the mob farm. That's kind of cool. We can see the mob farm growing in numbers, and we're getting a lot of cows. And yeah. So I think finally full. We need to look up here to see if it's full. Once the buffer fills in here, then the tank will actually start to fill. And it's not full yet, but it's getting there. Okay. I think, where do I want to put it? This is kind of the wall that, maybe right here? Let's go upstairs. Nope, it's got to be like right here. This is not going to be in the right spot, I already know that. Uh, I guess we could do it right there. Okay, so the way that this works is let's go ahead and get rid of four blocks and place tanks. We'll go ahead and, mm, yeah, let's take these two out too. And then we can go all the way. Because, see, I really don't want to utilize, or I, I don't want the big, huge, massive tank showing because. It is just XP, which is, it's all cool and everything, but it's going to be a big tank. This, this is a septic tank, I think. I think that's what we're going to call it. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. By one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. Okay. Almost done. Okay, so let's go ahead and take... We've got 52. So we'll have to get some more. This is going to hold so much XP. go down and get some more. Let's see. I can be out of my bat form, uh, back into me form. Okay. Yeah, I only have 130 something of them. It has an EMC value, do you remember? Okay, so you, you, you. Now we need the tank, or the, the drains. Hello? There it goes. And now, let's go ahead and put you there. I wonder if it'll work like that. 
Nope. What about there? Yep, that works just fine. So as you can see, don't just place it and then walk away because, well, guess what? It's going to be all over the ground. That doesn't look too bad. Yes, it does. It's in the wrong spot. I don't know if I'm going to keep it there. I may or may not. This is working out very well. We're getting cows. And as long as we stand there, we're getting blazes. So it's a huge trade-off, which means if somehow I can figure... I wonder. I have to do it. I don't have pumpkins, and I don't have a piece of... Oh, what is that? Okay. I just made 16 of those, whatever the heck they are. I, I need pumpkins. I, I want to make one of those. Sorry, guys. We're, we're making one. Is there pumpkins anywhere? Pumpkins. There's a chicken in a tree. I don't see any pumpkins. There's one. Haha. -ha. Come here, pumpkin. We'll get... Actually, we should just be able to get one. They have an EMC value. This equivalent exchange mod is beyond OP. So, just thought you should know. I think I've said it a couple of times. I just got egged again. Okay. Let's go ahead and copy said pumpkin. Whoa, that's a lot of pumpkins. I don't think I need 35 of myself. And let's do this. Bada boom. What do you look like? I think you're going to go right here. Why can't I place them? Show your equipment off with a creepy mannequin. Right click with a name tag to set a skin. So I need a name tag? Uh, how do I move you, bro? That was weird. I can't place them. Oh, so you can't place them on the wall. No. What? I was able to place them. What is... Th what? How do I get you... Maybe because there's a nook? It's because there's a nook there. Okay, so it's registering the microblock. Okay. Now, I need a name tag. And I don't have one. Let's see if I can make one. Name tag. What are you? A present? That'll work. Nope, I don't have a sign. What about you? Yes, haha. -ha. Now I need an anvil. Don't have an anvil, but I think there might be one there. Let's see if I can learn to spell. Really? really? I, I need experience. See, this is why it's good to be able to store your experience. There's a lot of chickens over there. I think I can kill them. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see. Did it work? Will it work? Ha ha! It's me! Now what can I do with it? You can reset it, you can can you put armor on him? Okay, that's kind of a beyond advanced armor stand. Dude, you look handsome. No, I have boots here somewhere. 
you look awesome. Anyways, guys, we're at the 25 minute mark and we got a lot done. I went ahead and I finished the the mob farm. I created an XP storage place, and this this is why I did the experience storage. It's because of this back here. When I get my essence berries set up, they'll be in here, and I'll need a place to pump them into, and we'll do that on a different uh, episode. But we and we cloned ourselves. Can't do anything with the clone, but we cloned ourselves. So, guys, with that said, I'll see you in episode 22.